Well, hello, this is your devotional for August 11, and we are in Proverbs chapter 31, particularly the portion that talks about kind of the ideal wife, just a, a great godly woman. And we're going to linger here actually for two weeks of our devotionals because there's so much to, to hear. And I want to encourage you as you listen this week and next week to notice these are words uh, specifically for kind of the marriage relationship with a man and a woman and, and for that, the woman, but also the lessons and the, the, the things in her character and in her life that are praised can be praised in all people. So let God speak to you wherever you're coming from, whatever your background, but particularly for those that are women and women that are married, let God speak to your heart and hopefully encourage you through these words. So Proverbs chapter 31, uh, lesson number one, and, and it gives us vision of a, of a godly woman, a godly life. And here's lesson number one, character is of great value. Character matters. Listen to verse 10, a wife of noble character, who can find? She is worth far more than rubies. Character matters. We're in a world where character has kind of fallen on hard times, where, where people don't seem to care much about, about the inner person and the character of a person as much as they used to. And so just to understand that, that in, this, in these words, talk, it's talking about a, a, a woman, a wife of great character, but for all of us, our character matters. It's more precious than rubies or than gold. And if you have a good character, it matters. Lesson number two, bring good to others. This picture of this ideal wife is someone who brings good, who brings blessing to others. Listen to verse 12. She brings him good and harm all the days of her life. The picture is, is of, a, of a woman, of a wife, who brings good to her husband. And not, not ill, not evil, not harm. She brings good. Can I say, married people, speak well of each other? Wives, Speak well of your husband, or don't speak about your husband, but be careful. Don't do things that are harmful, that are damaging for all of us in our relationships, to speak well of other people, to do them good and not harm. And then lesson three, and this is a huge one. Hard work and good business sense are a gift. People that work hard, that have a work ethic, and have a good business sense, and this woman, this ideal, this is not talking about a specific woman, it's talking about an ideal woman and, and if somebody, if a man's looking to get married and say, man, if I had a wife who works hard and has good business sense, well, here's what the passage says. She selects wool and flax. She works with eager hands. She is like the merchant ships bringing food from afar. She gets up while it is still night. She provides food for her family and portions for her female servants. She considers a field and buys it. Out of her earnings, she plants a vineyard. She, she's purchasing things, making, you know, closing deals. Build, you know, building, uh, building up their estate. Uh, she sets about her work vigorously. Her arms are strong for the tasks. She sees that her trading is profitable and her lamp does not go out at night. In those days, you didn't have automatic lights that came off and on. They would keep a candle burning in the, in the house, but that candle it was really a, kind of a bowl of oil and a wick, and it would burn for so many hours, and then if it hit the oil, it would go out, and it would be dark. And so she would wake up at different points and just kind of bring that, that wick out and just let it keep burning for a few more hours planning ahead, thinking in advance. There's this picture of this woman who is industrious, works hard, and she's productive. What a good reminder for all of us. And so let's pray that God would, would fill us with strength and vision and commitment to work hard at all that we do. Lord Jesus, thank you for your word. I wanna thank you for my wife and for how in so many ways she reflects the heart of Jesus. That, that, that she reflects your love and your care and how she loves me and our kids and our daughter-in-laws and our grandchildren. I pray for all those that are married, that they will have strong, healthy marriages. I pray for those who would want to be married someday, that you would open up that door for them. Lord, thank you for this teaching from your word. Speak deeply to our hearts, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. We'll see you Sunday at church. Have a great rest of your week.